budova je zhruba v polovina z vojene, ten tu je to chrátku. And I was asking myself, that Emmanuel, if you have faith, why are you wearing all this? I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. Is it because they say I should wear it, that's why I'm wearing it? Or, or what? Yes, have faith. Have faith. We want to continue. Last week we were looking at Psalm 78. And we'll look at that and then I'll come to do what we want to do today. We saw how the sermon was saying what God did for all the Israelites. And he asked the question that as I know that God has done for them, seeing he said, I mean, check or God and did all that, all the you know, the plays, ten, you know, miracles, he calls an agent and all that, and they saw it. And how God delivered them and saved them. And how God used, you know, caused the Red Sea to open for them to cross the Red Sea. And then at the end, they saw how the Egyptians were dead there, their child and everything was there. And still, they just went a little bit into the desert. And they began to ask, can God even sit at a table in the, in the desert? And then we, we said last week that we were looking at a thing that do you have a testimony of faith? For them, they saw all the testimonies, but still they were doubting whether God can still uh, do it for them. I really want us to read, before I come to what I'll do today, quickly we'll just let me recap. Let's, let, let's continue from where I left off and I'll come back to this one. So Psalm 78 from the verse 23, it says, Yet he commanded the skies above to open, the doors of heaven, 24, and he rained down on them manna to eat and gave them the grain of heaven. Man ate the bread of angels. He sent them food in abundance. And I gave them water to drink, oh, food came. Then he asked, Then God, God says, okay, in spite of all their sins and all that, 26, he caused the east wind to blow in the heavens. And by the power he led them out, the south wind, he rained meat on them like dust. Picture it. In Shalena, so when I go to the seashore, I see the, my friend is saying, I'm going to go on. So the dust, meat falling like that. Then I see it now, if dust meat is falling upon that, where will we stand? Wind birds like sand of the seas. Psalm 78. Where is Psalm 78? Are we there? Good. Psalm 78. So now I'm in the verse 27. I read that again. He rained meat on them like that. Wind birds like the sand of the seas. 28. He let them fall in the midst of the camp. All around their dwellings, 29, and they ate and were, were well filled. Look at it, I, I get it. Well filled. For he gave them what they created for. 30. But, <laughs> but, now so, see. Before they, 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 they had satisfied their cravings, why the food was still in their mouths? Near the year, that they eat, they 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 grab Mister Adi here. Oh, 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 oh! Why they were still doing that? They were still talking. The anger of God rose up against them, and He killed the strongest of them. And let know the young men of Israel. Why would God do such a thing? And so this will lead me to my today's thing. I'll come back to the Psalm 78. And so today's theme is having faith in God calls for righteous living. I repeat that. 
Having faith in God calls for righteous living. And so I cannot say I have faith in God and I'll live anyhow. That's why my anchor test is first Thessalonians 7, 4, sorry, 4, 7. First Thessalonians 4, 7 says, For God has not called us for impurity, but in holiness, in holiness, in holiness, in holiness. That's my anchor text. And so I'm speaking to you on the theme, having faith in God calls for righteous living. And I told you my anchor text. And so my main focus is Genesis 17. Genesis 17. Take the Bibles to me there. Genesis 17. How do faith in God calls for righteous living? Genesis 17. One and two. I'll let my senior read for me. So you, I'll give you my mic. Stand there and shout. Yeah. Father, I let you so she can. Yeah. Yes. When Abraham was 99 years old, mm. the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Mm. Walk before me and be blameless. So you see, God called Abraham 75 years. Now, when he was 99 years, and, 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 and we see in Genesis 15, first covenant was enacted there. Then 17, another one was enacted there. We will soon see. Then God, when he was 99 years, so who is 99? Effie, 75 from one. And now 75 from 25, Rebecca. 99 minus 75, Rebecca. 24. Okay, we made, we made in your crowd. After 24 years, see, now repeat the verse one again. After 24 years, when Abraham was 99 years old, mm. Walk before me and be what? Blameless. Verse 2. I will confirm my covenant between me and you and greatly increase your number. So you see, so walking in faith, Abraham having faith and doing all of that. And so let me jump. If you jump to the chapter 24, verse 1, they'll tell like Abraham has grown and is also old, and the Lord has blessed him all over. It was because God asked Abraham. To walk before him in perfectness, or walk before him in righteousness, or walk before him in holiness. And so none of us can sit here and say, have faith in God. And then you will live your life anyhow. I'll come to that. And so let's go back. We are trying to win a basket. Let's go back to Psalm 70, the verse 32. And so I've established my theme for you and my uncle and all that. No, 32. Yes. In spite of all this, so you see, in spite of all this, their cravings and all that, Lord punished them and killed them and all that. They kept on sinning. They kept on sinning. In spite of his wanted, they did not believe. Mm. You go ahead. Read that verse. So he, he ended their days in futility mm. and their years in terror. Mm. Whenever God sees them, they will seek him. Mm. They eagerly turn to him again. So you see, we will look at something in the verse 20, 35. Mm. But look at the adjectives he's using there. They eagerly. Look at the word eagerly. Another version will say they earnestly. Whichever your version is. So when God did all that and they were crying and they were sinning and God was killing them, opening the earth, they were entering snakes, he was biting them and they were dying and all that. Then, for me, the NIV says that when he killed them, they sought him. They repented and sought God earnestly. I want to use the word earnestly. I should hear, but I'm a to the body and tell. 35. They remember that God was their rock. Mm. That God most high was their leader. Now they did that. But I said, but. But. Go to 36, 37. And look at something. But then they will flatter him. But then they will flatter him. Oh, Kofi has said. Hey, boy, what the hell? Kofi has said. Kofi has said. Kofi has said. 
Et là, là c'est que Kofi, yes, Kofi, yes, Kofi, yes, yes. Là, tu vois, même quand ils sont sains, ils ne m'ont pas la même look. So I flatter him for the envelope, but not because of what Kofiase is doing for the church. Otiase, but they flattered him. Matthew fifteen eight. No, who did Chasu mommy? Chasu. Yes. Read the verses for now. Yeah. With their mouths. They lie with him with their tongues. He don't really not know say pneumonia and then he sees what is in your heart. He knows what you are doing, what you are doing. He knows it. And so you claim to be a Christian. You claim to be a sashi member. You claim to be a sofo. You claim. You claim. I was going to do something somewhere yesterday, yesterday in the afternoon. And the taxi driver, the way he has parked, and I said, oh. Then the lady got out of the car. She was angry. I didn't talk. I don't know why I was going, you know, one on one, so I could where she works. And she had a casano. Anna, man, I said, What's your name? My name is Reverend Queen. I'm sorry, but I'm the president. What's the way you're also a man? Master Ibanu. Master Ibanu. Come to the president. I didn't react. I just laughed. Oh, the lady is so nice. So, so nice. So nice. Why? I've seen you already. I've seen you already. Master Ibanu, come to the I'm saying, oh, Reverend, I said, go to you. I said, I'm saying, you're Martin. So they'll flatter you with their mouths and walk about. And that was what they were doing to God. Matthew 15, 8, someone should read 58. Matthew 15, 8, verse 8. With their lips, but their hearts are far off from God. And so, the believer who claims to walk in faith with God must have his or her heart fully committed to God in righteousness and holiness. And so, if you are craving to walk with God, then your heart must one be committed fully to Him. Two, you must walk in holiness and righteousness. You can say, have faith in God. And you do anything, so God said, Abraham, walk before me and be perfect, blameless. Blameless. I said to people, I don't do it. For, 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 for over four, four months now. And I go to God and I pray and I say, Lord, speak to me. All God will say to me, he said, Yima, walk before me and be blameless. That's what God will tell me. Why would he say that to me? Because if you say you have faith in me and you must according to yourself, me, then you must walk in righteousness. So stop flattering God with your lips and your mouth and shouting and jumping. And your heart, you do all the forgiving my words. I will read that. So I will say it. Do you get me? You want a husband and you have a boyfriend. You have a girlfriend, you want a wife. You want God to bless your business. And then you keep on going chasing those beautiful but good for nothing young ladies. You want God to bless your business. So having faith in God calls for righteousness. You walk in righteousness, Abraham, walk before me and be blameless. And then so you read Romans, because of time, I won't read it, Romans 4. 22. And you see what was said about Abraham. It's now 7.35. So we can read. We can read. Go close. We can read. <laughs> Romans 4. We can read. Romans 4. Romans 4. From 16. You leave all the 16. Sir. Leave all the 16. Sir. And, then, and then come, 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 come. Come, come to 18. No, leave the 16. Come to 18. Yes. Mm. So you see, again, oh, Abraham believed. And so it is the belief that Jesus was all here no more. No. Abraham still was God said, walk before me. Even though you are believing in me, walk before me in holiness and righteousness. Against hope. And so when you read all oh, his body, that was it, his weak, on the she, on the mission of Abia, and he said, Sarah's womb was gone. But 
she, he still believed against hope. Continue for me. Okay. So became the father of many nations, just as it had been said to him. Okay. So shall your offspring be. Nineteen. Without weakening in his faith. Without, you see, other brothers say, believe that there is hope. Now another letter has been used without weakening in his faith. He says the fact that his body was as good as dead. And finally, since he was about a hundred years old, <clears throat> and that Sarah's was also dead. Okay. Yes. Continue. But what did we now never want to work in holiness, work in righteousness before me? Abraham, 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 work in holiness and in righteousness. What is that? Forgive me to use my lay rep for the credit to you. I see. Everybody knows I Before you were new, I was not going to move Because his name was all over. And so he, he has that name. So if he has that name, and he has done all that, he himself, how will he see himself? As working before God, or he called on the name. Ah, yeah, so you can work anyhow. Is that the case? So God said, What before me? And so look at what God said about Job. Job 1 8, then Job 2 3. Job 1 8 and Job 2 3. I also end. Job 1 8 and then Job 2 3. I'm still concluding. You see people in like the political season who call themselves believers, they come and sit in church, church, and you go to their Facebook walls, you go to their Twitter handles, you go to uh, Instagram and whatever. And the words these Christians are using there. So shameful and so appalling. I pray no one in this church will do that. I pray so. Responding and insulting, doing all that in, on, on those handles or whatever you call it. What will it add to your Christianity? The party will applaud you. Why are they? Oh, that's the line. Yeah, John Moore, they applaud you. But who names going to the man? Whose name goes into the man? Who does the end this MVP or the Osek of Yassi? Whose name goes into the man? So God said, if you are a believer, and if you are my son and daughter, what before me be blameless? And so you are MPP, CPP, NDC, PPP, PPP, whatever it is, you know. He said, be faithful, be righteous, your all trances. Can you imagine if someone sees me walking with coffee, get coffee, forgive me, coffee, oh, what do you mean? Coffee, oh, I'm starting coffee and going. How would this be going? When they come to your church, 
And so don't say, yes, it's a particular season. I said, they So it can be fair to call them, you're not here, my jelly. I call them your jelly on whatever handle you have. If you call yourself a Christian and a believer, I pray none from this church will do that. That's my prayer. Now we will stand out. The person comes and insults, and then you come and pray for the person on your Facebook handle, or wall, or Twitter handle, or whatever you will Instagram, whatever, whatever you call it, and see the praise you receive. So I said, what before me and be blameless? So righteousness is so key to God. It doesn't have faith in Him. And so Colossians 4, 5 and 6. Colossians 4, 5 and 6. Ephesians 5, 17. Colossians 4, 5 and 6. Ephesians 5, 17. And then Philippians 1, 9 to 11. One by one. And I will conclude. Colossians 4. Colossians 4. 5 and 6. Five and mm. um, be wise in the way you act toward outside. Be wise! You see? And so it means that believers are within. And unbelievers are outside. So God said, be wise the way you act towards the unbelievers. So the unbelievers don't go there and insult. And you also go there and reply the insult. You will see the inside. Who knows the light? Oh, you hear a book. I won't say it in English. Oh, you hear a book. It's important. So be wise. Continue. Make the most of every opportunity. Good. Success. Let your conversation be always full of grace. Conversation. So, the NID will say, your, your, your speech or whatever it is. Be gracious. And, and go back. You left the word there. Like that word. <laughs> Gracious and what? There's a word there. My era, my era, my era, my senior. And pleasant. pleasant. You take a seat again. And pleasant. Take a seat again. Let your speech uh -huh. all time be gracious. Be gracious. And pleasant. Pleasant. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. Season with salt. Ah, uh -huh. that word. Now what you're doing? With salt, with salt, to keep, so the salt will keep your words. Beloved, don't let anybody in this political system use you, the believer, to do all those that dirty, forgive me, foolish things for them. Then you go and destroy your name. Bible says a good name is better than riches. I prefer to that they call me Reverend Queen. When you come to three years, if I go to bar, if I go to bar, then to say, if I buy a shika, if I need a asset, if I feel let me come and leave my good name and go. How do I get more? How will you ever meet? Yes, on a political system, you can do whatever you do. But know your boundary that God said, walk before me and be blameless. I said, I pray that no one in this church will be used by anybody. Anybody. That when they even win the they even win the they don't even know you. That when you help them to win, they will, that now when you want them, they will, you go and beg for them. And I thank God for whatever reason. Me, right? I told you. And nobody will come to the church and campaign. If you come here, you will sit here. Your poor one will introduce you. Now, if you want to campaign, you go to the platform, we will come there. Not in church. They come here, they campaign, they win. When you invite them for program, they don't come. So wherever I go, they don't come to campaign. Don't let them, don't, don't let them use you. Ephesians 5.17, as I conclude my sermon. Therefore, do not be foolish. Jamie K. Jamie K. But understanding what the will of God is. Not the will of every human being out there. But the will of God. What is the will of God? Seasons, but this is 
since the end of the year, so what do I do? Understand the times. So Paul will conclude. Ephesians 1, as I end, sorry, Philippians 1, as I end, from the verse 9, and I will end. This is my prayer for you. This is the prayer of Reverend Pooh. This is the prayer of my senior. This is the prayer of session. This is the prayer of all of us for ourselves. That your love may abound one more and more and death of insight. And I like the NIV. It says that these two words, the key words, the knowledge and discernment. Have knowledge and discernment. And so if I come and stand before Henrita, and look at the way Henrita is behaving. I should stand back and really have an understanding and descend before I react to her. Knowledge, discernment are key in these times. Much and on. So that you may be able to discern what is best mm. and may be pure and blameless. Pure and blameless! Until the day of Christ. Remember, Man, uh, 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 my little gravity, do you have NID? What's NID? The best thing. This is NID. NID. Uh, Holy Bible. NID. Holy Bible. Hey, Holy Bible NID. Okay, I don't want to get Holy Bible. I want the NID. <laughs> you guys it. It says, it says, my year says that. My year says that. My year says that. So that you may approve what is excellent. I like the word excellent. And so be, be pure and blameless. Excellent, pure blameless. Now end the verse 11. May I am home. Filled with the fruit of righteousness. That comes through Jesus Christ. That comes through Jesus Christ. The not the fruit of evil. Not the fruit of wickedness. Not the fruit of field. If you have faith in God. That he wants you to work in righteousness and in holiness. So in my conclusion, I say this. But the one who called you is God. He wants you to experience his blessings. And so for you to experience the blessings of God in your daily life, you must want to work in faith, in righteousness and holiness. And in the perfect will of God. In faith, in righteousness and holiness. And then, in the perfect will of God. Then you will experience his blessings. In my journey, that you and I, who have faith in God, will live in righteousness. And glorify God only. I know you are human beings. As I always say to you, that for me, humbly, I'm not in this church to please anybody. I'm here to please God. When I please God, I can please you. But when I please you, I can please God. So help me to please God so I can please you. I'm not here to please you. Humbly submitted. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, I was Talk to God. We have 10 minutes to go. Talk to God. Whatever you heard, whatever you heard, talk to God about it. Talk to God. As I was speaking to you, God was also speaking to me personally, as an individual. As an individual. As an individual. As a human as I am, I may have weaknesses. And so I need God's grace to strengthen me so I can walk before him every day and be perfect before him. And be able to please him as I walk in faith. Pray to God to help you. When you need that help, he said, Abraham, I called you when you were 75. Now you are 99. I'm repeating to you, I want to bless you. So walk before me and be blameless. Pray to God. Let's pray for this church, every member of this church, that you and I will walk in holiness. 
You and I walk in righteousness. As we expect God to bless us on a daily basis. Talk to God this morning. And we are so in conflict, so we are praying to God to grant us grace so that we live holiness. And so, Lord, we thank you for listening to us. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.